joined with Michelle and Jackie from Neptune Wellness Solutions at Cannabis Expo in Montreal. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank Thanks you very for much. having us. Awesome. So I'd love to begin just by hearing more about Neptune and what you do. Sure. So Neptune, we're a processing company. Uh, we're based here in Quebec. Uh, we have a facility in Sherbrooke where we do extraction, post-processing, and um, a bunch of different product forms for the industry. But we also have a, U a U.S. operation, which is fairly new. Um, it's been maybe a bit more than two months that we uh, acquired a facility out of North Carolina where we do something very similar. We do extraction, but very focused on hemp uh, in the U.S. Really interesting. Uh, and I think you must be one of the only uh, extraction uh, companies that has both a footprint in the U.S. and Canada. What do you think, uh, how do you think that strategically helps you long term? Do you think you'll learn a lot from the U.S. experience and the Canadian experience and can share those learnings between both markets? I think, you know, uh, this is a really a beneficial for us because both companies are in different markets, but at the same time, what we do and the know-how we've developed in hemp extraction and what we do over there will also benefit the Sherbrooke operation and vice versa what we do in Canada because we've been regulated forever because we were, our DNA has been 20 years of extraction, so in a different type of product, biomass, but that experience and that DNA was part of us so we can transfer good manufacturing practice type of benefit. We can also uh, you know, benefit them with some global reach that we've had over uh, the, the, the years that we've been in the wellness space. So yes, vice versa for us, the footprint in the US is a big market. Jackie uh, is busy right now looking at the opportunities there and obviously represents much bigger slate than Canada. Even if Canada is the first one to have regulated, obviously the potential is by far more important than the US. Awesome. And Michelle, you started a Quebec Industry Association for cannabis companies. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that and just what your thinking is around the current state of regulations in the province? Absolutely. Actually, we uh, fill we fill a void. You know, Quebec. Uh, you know, and it's, it stands with the you know the uh, regulatory of cannabis or call it the law of cannabis. The province, you know, are the one that have authorities on what's going to be sold. You know, in their province. And you know we don't have that many licenses. Out of 270 licenses, we've got probably 17, so just about 7 percent. So we have basically a backlog of a few through licenses. You know we're late, late stage in the sense that you know people in the rest of Canada are much ahead of us. And hence we have a government also that is a bit, not a bit, very resistant to to cannabis and their policy. So it's important that we have the united voice, a united front to really, really influence, you know, the development of our industry in a socially responsible way. At the same time, meeting the objective of legalization, which are, you know, the security of the public, you know, having properly sold products that are properly regulated by an agency. But yet in Quebec, we seem to want to navigate against it by doing our own things, which frankly is a, is a step back for most of the players in the industry. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. And so uh, I want to end off just by asking your thoughts on trends in the industry, both in the U.S. and Canada. It's funny, the last time we did these types of interviews was uh, over a year ago before legalization happened. And it's just crazy to think uh, what people were talking about then compared to what people are talking about now. What do you think next year people will be talking about in the industry? Um, I think we'll start seeing um, a discussion around new cannabinoids. So we're talking a lot about CBD, THC, but not so much about other cannabinoids. So I think we'll see an emergence of that. We're already seeing that a little. I think in the U.S., um, a lot more discussion on CBD with big brands and big CPG companies. So we're already seeing that shift, which is a bit contrary to what the dynamic is in Canada currently where it's still regulated differently under the Marijuana and the Cannabis Act. So the two markets are evolving at a different pace. Um, and I think in the U.S. we'll see really a big shift towards consumer uh, packaged goods and, and CBD will be uh, in a lot of household products. Really neat. Michelle, anything to add? Well, I say, you know, that's the U.S. Uh, in Canada, the Quebec part, I hope, will progressively shift towards uh, more harmony with the uh, Canada's requirement and. Uh, you know, policy. Hopefully we'll talk about that next year, that the stigma has, has been alleviated because recently a recent poll shows that 17%, 17%, 17% more uh, approval on the legalization here in Quebec than there was a year ago. So I think that this is progressing and hopefully in Canada we'll have something that is more 
you know, in harmony with every province in terms of what you can do and how you do it and uh, offering the same type of products coast to coast to consumers. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.